Hello friends at YouTube. It's January 24th, 2021, Sunday afternoon. And uh, what you're looking at here is an ALP, ALP propane only generator in the 1000 uh, watt class. Running watts is supposed to be 850 and 1000 watts maximum. Uh, I am not a prepper, but I'm interested in just having some kind of backup for when we have the uh, occasional ice storms which cause power outages here or other power outages. Um, I was interested in getting a 240 volt uh, gasoline generator of a higher wattage so that I could operate uh, most of the important functions of my home, but I've wrangled about uh, that for quite some time, and I happen to see this ALP uh, on uh, YouTube on the uh, Hobo Tech Hobo Tech channel, and I was inspired to just go ahead and get this because I was impressed with the uh, simplicity of it and uh, not having to mess around with messy gasoline, and something that I could deploy rather quickly and um, cleanly and, and easily. Uh, I still might get a, uh, a gasoline generator at some time in the future. I still have some wiring to do uh, for uh, some sort of transfer switch, whether it be a um, mechanical one on the face of the main box or a um, one that has circuit breakers of its own and that has manual switches for the most important circuits. However, for now, uh, it's good to know that I have something here that, that will just get me by in a pinch in the coming days or weeks or so this winter uh, if I don't get around to doing some of these other projects. Anywho, this is not supposed to be a um, instructive video, but merely to document my first uh, encounter with this uh, generator and to see if it will uh, fire up without any hassles. Um, I might make at least one more and possibly two more videos on this subject after this one uh, just to keep this uh, uh, short. So right now what I'm going to do is following the instructions that came with the generator. There's a, a very nice uh, easy to understand uh, manual here and a uh, shortcut for getting things going and what it calls for is to add 200 cc's or 6.7 ounces of motor oil uh, 10w40 or 20w50 I chose the 10w40 because uh, this is a uh, it's winter time and there's a possibility that this would be used outdoors in cold temperatures. So I found this uh, uh, medical uh, measuring device here at a thrift store and I've got 200 cc's in there and uh, which is a little shy of seven ounces and I assume this is a medical thing this should be fairly accurate and I picked up a uh, cheapy turkey baster at a uh, dollar store recently. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the, uh, the side here. They are not captive screws, but there's a little trough on the top where the handle is where they can be dropped in to keep them safe. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, hose that comes with it, which is good for uh, the small bottles. And I got this additional hose here, which connects to that rubber hose to hook up to a 20 pound grill type bottle, which I have a brand new one uh, on the floor of the deck here 
that I picked up at Tractor Supply some time ago to use with my uh, my grill. So it looks like this is where the oil is added, and it always already looks like it's a little bit wet. So there must have been some oil in there for testing. I'm going to use the turkey baster, which shows one ounce here. So it should take several of these to get enough oil in there. As I said, this is not meant to be instructional. This is pretty straightforward and a sloppy part of the job. All right, I tilted it and it started to come out, so that should be ample. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and I'll pick it up with uh, after I get the hoses hooked up, and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching so far.